Assalamu alaikum. Are you looking for a reliable source to learn more about Islam? Look no further. Our app, One Islam TV, is the perfect solution for you. Get access to a wide range of informative and engaging content in Islam right at your fingertips. Download our app now and start your free trial. The Prophet wasallam said there were three people from the children of Israel. One with a skin disease, the other person was bald-headed, and the third one was blind. Allah wanted to test them whether they would be grateful or not, just like how they are now being tested with hardship. So Allah sent them an angel in the shape of a human being. That angel first went to the one with the skin disease, and he asked him, what would you wish for? The man replied, Beautiful and healthy skin is what he wishes for. The people really look down upon me. So then the angel touched that man with the skin disease and the disease went away by the will of Allah. And he was blessed, not just with the regular skin. No, he looked beautiful, fresh, clear and clean. Then the angel asked him, what kind of property do you like the most? The man replied, camels. So the angel gave him a pregnant camel. So more than just even one camel, Allahu Akbar. And the angel prayed, Oh Allah, bless this man's wealth. Next, that angel went to the second man, the bald-headed. So he asked him, What would you wish for? That man said, I wish for beautiful and healthy hair. Then the angel touched that man, and the man ended up having healthy and beautiful hair. Then the angel asked him, What kind of property do you like the most? The man replied, Cows, I love cows. So the angel gave him a pregnant cow and he made dua to Allah, Oh Allah, bless this man's wealth. Lastly, the angel went to the third man, the one who was blind, and he asked him, What would you wish for? The man replied, I wish for Allah to return back my sight and be able to see the people. Then the angel touched that man and by the will of Allah, his sight came back and he was able to see. So the angel asked him, what kind of property do you like the most? He replied, sheep. I love sheep. So the angel gave him a pregnant sheep, Allahu Akbar. And he prayed, Oh Allah, bless this man's wealth. After some time, that first camel delivered the baby, the cow and the sheep, and they start to grow in numbers so much so. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, remember to say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that the wealth of all these three people grew so much, each one filled the valley. Allahu Akbar. And now Allah will test them with ease, just like how He tested them with hardship. Bismillah. Allah sends an angel in the shape. Focus on this point. Allah sends the angel in the shape of what the people used to look like. So the angel came to the first one who had the skin disease. Remember, the angel came with a skin disease and he was poor. And he goes to that person who is now rich with all these camels and has beautiful skin and all that good stuff. So he told him, I'm a poor man who's saying this, the angel. I have lost all of my means of survival while I was traveling. No one can help me today except Allah and then you. I ask you by Allah, O oh brother, the one who gave you such beautiful color and beautiful skin, beautiful property, all that wealth. Give me just one camel. Remember, the man has a valley of camels now. He said, give me one camel, just so I can reach my destination. The man replied, I have many obligations. Ah, mashallah, he's a big shot now. Huh? I have many obligations, so I can't give you anything. The angel in the image of a poor man said, I think I know you. Didn't you have a skin disease back in the day and you were poor and people looked down upon you? Is that not you? The man replied, uh, no, no, I got all this property through inheritance and from my forefathers. I was always rich and my father was always well off. The poor man said to him, had you been lying, then may Allah return you to how you were before. Allahu Akbar. Then the angel left. The angel left and he went to the second guy. Remember the one who was bald headed and poor? The angel went in that shape and that form, bald headed and very poor and he told him, I'm a very poor man. I have lost all of my means of survival while on my journey. No one can help me today except Allah and then you. I ask by Allah, the one who gave you such beautiful hair, the one who gave you so much money and so many cows, give me one cow, just a cow, just so I can reach my destination. 
The man replied, I have uh, many obligations. I, I can't give you anything today. The angel in the image of a poor man said, I think I know you. You look familiar. Were you not the bald-headed man and you were so poor and you were not very comfortable with the way you look? The man replied, no, no, that's uh, not me. I got all this property through inheritance and from my forefathers. Basically, I was never poor. I was always uh, comfortable like that. The poor man said, the angel, had you been lying, then may Allah return you to how you were before. Then the angel left and went to the last guy, the one who used to be blind, remember? The one who asked for sheep. That man, he now received the angel in the shape of a man who is very poor. And he went to him and he said the same thing as one and two. He said to him, I'm a poor man. I have lost all my means of survival while I was on my journey. No one in the world can help me today except Allah and then you. I ask you by Allah, the one who has returned back your sight to give me one of your property. Give me just one sheep so I can go and reach my destination. Check the following response. The man replied, true, you're right. I was blind and Allah has returned back my sight. And I was poor and Allah gave me all this wealth. You know what? Don't just take one sheep basically. Take whatever you want, however you want, as many as you want from my property. I will not stop you. Allahu Akbar. May Allah make us generous and grateful, Ya Rab. The angel said to him, keep your property. What? Does he not want one sheep? No, keep your property. You and the other two men were tested. This form of me asking you for money was a test from Allah. And by the way, you and I may face something like that. Allah may send people in our way as a test to see. So then the angel tells that man who was blind and now he can see, Allah is pleased with you. Brothers and sisters, that's the greatest reward Allah can ever give someone. For the pleasure of Allah to be given to someone, may Allah grant you and I that reward. May Allah be pleased with us, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allah is pleased with you. And Allah is very angry upon the other two. Brothers and sisters, may Allah make you and I of those who are grateful to Allah's blessings. Amen. Introducing One for Kids TV, the number one rated Islamic children's app in the world. Get ready for a world of fun, education, and value-based entertainment. Join thousands of families worldwide who have rated it as a top app for Muslim children and embark on an exciting journey of learning and fun. Download the One for Kids TV app now from the Apple, Google, and Amazon stores today.